In our last gardening video, when we were unloading the bulk sole out of the truck bed, we shoveled it out by hand, and while that wasn't a terrible job, it's nowhere near dif as difficult as doing gravel, it was not very easy. So it reminded me of a tool that I had seen last time I was in Harbor Freight, that is an easy truck bed unloader. It's actually called a truck bed cargo unloader. And I thought, you know what? Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. So what I have here is the truck bed cargo unloader. This is the one from Harbor Freight. There are a couple of different companies that make them. I think Harbor Freight might be the cheapest one. Hopefully I don't regret buying the cheapest one, but at $49, I think it's an okay risk to possibly help us unload our next one or two or subsequent loads of soil easier out of the back of this truck bed. I'm gonna go ahead and take some time to read through the instructions. Yes, read instructions of all things. Yep, and go ahead and put this thing together because tomorrow morning, first thing, I plan on taking the truck to the garden soil place and getting another three yards of a soil in the truck to finish, oh my goodness, I hope finish our garden beds. I have all the parts laid out here and I'll kind of go over them briefly as I understand them. The main meat and potatoes of this whole system is this long rod with the fabric wrapped around it. This is what gets attached to the brackets on your tailgate. The fabric, you pull it out, you droop it in your truck bed, load up your material, and basically when you want to unload it, you wrap it back up and you wind it back on the rod. It comes with two brackets. These mount on your truck tailgate. The rod goes through the hole. The straps go around the tailgate. This is adjustable depending on the thickness of your truck bed. So you've got one of those left and right. You've got a couple of stop brackets. These go on the rod here on the inside. One on the outside keeps your L bracket or your truck bed bracket in place as you need it. Then you have this big steel handle, nice thick steel, a little piece of red plastic here to spin in your hand. But otherwise that is what you use to crank and unload everything. I like that this is removable, which that makes sense because you don't want to drive down the road with this on there. And then the last thing you have is a bumper bracket. This is a strap that goes through and attaches this whole thing to the rear bumper of your truck to keep it secure while you're driving. I'm going to start off by putting in my inside stop brackets and then I'm going to slide on my truck tailgate brackets and then the outside stop. For now, I'm leaving these stop brackets loose until I get this on my tailgate and we can get things lined up better. We've got this side done, and there we go. All right, next thing to do is to put the tailgate, close it up, and put this thing on my truck. These long straps go around your tailgate, come back up, and attach here, basically attaching this whole system to your tailgate so it doesn't fall off. You want to pass the strap through the back side, and then it goes right back out the top, and that allows you to cinch this down. At this point, I'm just going to go and eyeball this, trying to get this centered as best on the truck bed. Maybe move the brackets a little bit here and there, and then reach inside and tighten up the straps to lock it down. The biggest thing to keep in mind, and that I'm really trying to pay attention to, is this notch that the handle is going to go in. I want to make sure it is beyond the edge of my tailgate. Otherwise, when I go to try and crank this, it's going to hit the tailgate, and not doing me much good. So I'm working on moving this down a little bit more on this side to offset it so I have room for the crank handle. I'm happy with the placement of the rod and everything, so I'm gonna use my Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and tighten down these end stop blocks 
That way it keeps everything in alignment right where I want it. At this point, all of my assembly and adjustments are done. We're now ready to use this. So I'll illustrate how I'm going to unload this at the mulch yard, but I probably won't be able to get footage because it's kind of hectic there. And bringing a camera and tripod and talking to it would just be kind of weird. So I'm going to illustrate it here. What I do is remove the Velcro straps from the roll. I then pull the sheet all the way out up to the front of the truck bed. I tuck it between the bed and the cab. I pull out enough to make sure there's plenty of slack. It goes down to the bed, all the way to the bottom, and that way when they load the truck bed full of material, it doesn't pull the fabric tight and make me not have full coverage like I want. After that, when you're all done loading up, you use your Velcro straps to secure the roll here at the back to the bracket so it doesn't unfurl on you as you drive home. Once you're home, you then take the straps off, lower your tailgate, hook on your bumper strap, that little extra strap on there, that's there so as you crank, the tailgate doesn't pop up on you. Attach your handle, crank it, and unload. At least that's the theory. So you know what? Let's go ahead and fast forward to tomorrow. Let's actually see this being applied and hopefully it'll work. Just got back with the load of garden soil, and now it's time to test whether this is a great investment and invention or a terrible waste of time and money. I have the truck parked on our tarp here a little bit just to help catch any kind of spillage we have. Otherwise, what I'm gonna do, drop the tailgate, put that tailgate latch in place. Then I'm gonna have Angela bring the tractor bucket forward right there to the tailgate, and then we'll attach the crank and see if it unloads as advertised. I don't know. I mean, it, it's moving it, but so can we just get out like the top and do that for the bottom? Well, you're supposed to be able to unload 2,000 pounds. So this is about a ton. I can see that bar of bowing. Can you oh, see that too? Yeah. Uh huh. It's touching like the top of the tailgate. Slow thing. Daddy, is it hard for you? Oh, we have a couple. <laughs> I think we have more on the ground than in the Five bucket. minutes later.
Okay, I guess that's full enough. Angela set aside what other people told us is a horse apple. It's um, not a rock. It comes in the garden soil and compost, and um, you don't want to eat it. So if you know what a horse apple is, leave us a comment down below. Or if you don't know what a horse apple is, and you think you know what this is, tell us all the same. There we go, first load done. As you guys can see, it is a little bit wasteful. It does spill over the edges. It leaves you know, your left and right flanks of that sheet unloaded. But this is not really intended or advertised as fill directly to tractor bucket of your garden soil. This is a universal dumper. And so far, I think it's pretty good. It was a little bit sketchy, the touch and go there at the beginning. I thought, well, this is about to blow up. But as it unloaded, I guess the weight got less it worked a lot easier all right we have just enough time to run to the store and get another truckload of soil so let's do that turn and burn see you guys in a second we're back now with our third and hopefully final load what we're going to do is continue what we were doing before we left i'll be running the tractor and the big giant conveyor belt crank thingy angela will be at the garden beds and whenever i pull over there with the tractor she's taking the soil from the outside edges and keeping me from spilling it as best you can. Try to. I'm a messy person, so good luck. Yes, right. All righty then. You want to hop in the tractor and just move it forward? Yeah. Forward, 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 forward.
Well guys, we have finished filling up all of our eight raised beds. Thanks to the <sighs> truck unload a magic thingamajig, $50 risk from Harbor Freight, and it turned out okay. This was so much quicker to unload than pull, pull, pull with a rake or shovel or whatever. It was so much quicker. We were able to do two truckloads in one day when we were doing good to get one undone in one day, so. True. Although I was kind of like, gosh, we're already out again? It's a fast way to spend your money. <laughs> yeah, but it was also mainly just one person unloading. Mm -hmm. So it was really nice that it was just one person unloading it. And the other person, me, was waiting at the bed to kind of scoop it out. It was, yeah. it went a lot easier with it. As far as longevity of the tool, I don't know how, how long it'll last. The metal pipe that runs left to right that the conveyor rolls around up on, it is thin wall metal. So it, when the time you like crank it at the beginning, it would bow in. Flex quite a bit. Yes. Also where the handle attaches, it's basically some slots cut out. It goes through and you twist it. I could see the metal starting to get fatigue and twist there as well. So perhaps if you're looking for something like this, it might be worth getting a better quality version, not just the Harbor Freight, unless you just have like one big project and you're like, you know what, let's just do it. Consider the $50 an investment in our backs and our muscle fatigue, yes. or if you're doing this by yourself, it's worth 50 bucks for sure. It is. Yeah. So I am definitely gonna keep it though. We're gonna keep it around and I'll use it until it breaks, so. Knowing us and our channel, you guys will see it whenever I use it and probably will see the day it breaks too. So stick around for a while. I mean, we, we still have more dirt to get for mm -hmm. other projects. We still have compost to fill in other places. So it is most definitely going to be used. Yep. And mulch. Yes, I was about to say, <laughs> I think mulch would be a great use for a tool like this because it's not super heavy. Mm -hmm. The uh, soil is... It's not so totally sopping wet, but it is pretty heavy. I mean, this last load, the truck was squatting pretty bad. So, yes, there's definitely, I guess, probably the heaviest you could test it. Although rock would be a good test too. I don't know. Don't want to tell you. It works good for us and that's good. So while we are done playing in dirt for now, we do have more wonderful garden videos coming up. We'll show you around some of the other things that we have added around the garden, as well as putting the plants in the beds. It's about time, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> we do already have our cabbage starts are doing very well. And we have some like zucchini squash type things that are doing well. We may have to add some in to kind of fill in the holes because not all the seeds started as they should have. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's coming more good stuff. It's <laughs> that time of year. So It is. If you got any questions about planting or seedling stuff, go ahead and leave us a comment down below on this video. We'll see that before we film that and hopefully we can get your questions answered there. Well guys, thanks for coming along as we finished filling up our beds and got to try out a new tool. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. What are we saying? We're saying... Hi. <laughs> yes, we're saying hi. Nobody cares. No. Nobody here, at least. Wow, why are you so dark? I'm in the shade. Hang on. All right, put your hat down. Okay. There's a workshop door there, can't you? All right, I guess I'll say all that again. All right, moment of truth. Supposedly, you just crank it and uh, you put your tailgate latch on better. Apparently, that's not a great place for it. No. That's what happens. You're used to my humor. What? I didn't know you were touching me. You. you are covered. It's alright. It's and just manure. <laughs> it smells like money. Rub so manure in my eyes. <laughs> so everybody sees you squint. They can see my squints. Good. It didn't break. 
Oh, your color of your squints are nice. As long as it's not a squinch. What's that? <laughs> a butt cheek? Squinch. Like when you <laughs> quench? Squeeze, quench, squinch. <laughs> Add that one to Urban Dictionary. <laughs> squinch. <laughs> Try out a new tool. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Little boy is living in the country. Tearing it up on his back, isn't he? Where's his helmet? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Where? Where? Mm. Why are you taking the long way out? <laughs> Don't give up now. Keep walking. <laughs> Now we can turn the camera off. <laughs>